Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. We're going to slowly work on more and more VBA to make this spreadsheet more and more advanced. So, so far we have an exam grade calculator so that um, if you enter in some marks for the exams, it gets you the average and you can clear it or you can copy it, copy and paste it and so on copy and paste it to another cell which sort of stuffs up the average because the average is taken from all of these cells so anyway that's what we have so far and um, we're gonna talk about a few more things the first thing is we have the average mark here but now I want to make it so that this only comes up after I click a button says that says calculate average so let's delete this um, let's go into our code so press alt f11 I've got that typed here still in case you forget so press alt 11 f11 okay so you can see we have two subroutines so every time we want to implement a new function we basically have to implement a new subroutine because we don't want to get it mixed up with the other code that we've made already so subroutines you can think of as a way to break up the code so sub and we're going to cal uh, call it calculate average okay and then we got n sub automatically generated after you press enter so how do we calculate the average well if you guys remember we have the average uh, number occurring in about f9 so I'm gonna go to range press tab to indent range uh, quotation f9 okay dot value because that is the cell that we want to change the value for equals and we're going to add up the numbers between let's just do c7 to c9 this time so let's do it the slow way that will be range c um, C7 plus oops plus range C8 plus range C9 so plus is just adding them as you probably know already and then we will divide them by 3 so that is a very long way of doing it but let's just see if that works so let's close close create a new button so go to developer mode go to um, insert button create a new button call it calculate average okay rename the button calculate average okay so let's click on it see what happened so let's choose three numbers we can get the average for 60 70 80 so the average should be 70 so let's try it calculates the average which is 70 uh, let's do 50 uh, 50 50 60 calculate average 53.3 so yes it's definitely average um, now we want to look at it to make it a little bit make the code a bit more efficient so press alt f11 again go into module one because that's our code that's where our code is so so far we have these three numbers added together in brackets divided by three now what I want to do is introduce you guys to uh, object so so far we've just got the range object I want to introduce you guys to an object called um, worksheet 
function. Now within this object, so as soon as you press the dot, you will see all of these functions. All of these functions are things that you can use to do operations, numerical operations on this worksheet. So worksheet function dot and the function that we're going to use is average. So um, we're going to use this function and then we're going to um, press bracket and it tells you what we need to do. So we basically have all of the arguments which are basically these individual cells that we want to average and we input them as uh, input into the function so let's try and do that so let's get rid of this range um, let's get rid of the plus in between and change them to comma comma and we don't need uh, another comma at the end so that's it so we should average these three numbers so it's a bit more clearer what we're trying to do so let's save that control s save it and let's go back to the code and see if it averages so we have 50 let's do 10 20 30 and press calculate average it should give us 20 yes it does so it's working now to make the code even shorter let's press f alt f11 again and let's change it to instead of having three inputs let's just combine them into c7 to c9 like we did previously so let's get rid of all of these other argument arguments and let's see if that will make the code um, see if that code works so let's save it and run it again so calculate average so let's do 20 30 40 run it it gives us 30 so let's do 5 10 15 calculate average average is 10 so i'm just going to put a little label here average so now it only calculates the average after i put the numbers in so if i clear them it doesn't do anything so that's another thing i want to fix is when i press clear it should clear the average as well so let's press alt f11 again and let's go to um where it says clear marks let's clear the range f9 as well so let's go range f9 dot value equals zero so it clears both things so let's save it clear marks clears everything so let's put in some marks calculate average calculates it clears it all let's delete this stuff because it doesn't mean much right now okay let's save it and let's leave everything till next time thank you for watching guys i hope you learned something today